it's me, Silger. I'm here with Comrade Kane, and we're going to finish off our uh, Wonders ranking tier. How are you doing today, Comrade Kane? What's going on, guys? The first one, you know? Like, uh, without the further ado, let's, let's do Big Ben. Yeah. I would say uh, that this is probably the best best wonder uh just looking at these of all of them that we're gonna rank today without getting too far ahead of ourselves just because it's the only one that provides something substantial um and by something substantial i assume you mean econ economic policy slot exactly because in addition to that though plus six gold which is fine plus three great merchant points not not and important and upon construction, the treasury is increased by 50% in gathering storm, which honestly, I mean, it, that could be a pretty, pretty significant boost if you time it right. Yeah. But again, if your plan fin sale. Usually then, I get like 20, usually I get 20 gold when I construct this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I actually did plan a couple of times yeah. and I, I was able to ramp up my gold just, just for that turn, you know, just go around the world and collect the gold. Yeah. And I was able to get like 10 grand out of it. it well, that was pretty, nice. It was pretty nice, you know, and then you're like, holy shit, this but, is awesome. And then, and then you, you have so much gold, you don't know what to do with it. Yeah. By the way, I just want to point out that uh, the Anti-Petra crew has one more uh, person here. We got Thomas in chat. Hey, good morning to you as well, Thomas. Welcome back, dude. Yeah. Or should I say, hold on to your pants? Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> this discussion is gonna go off the rails. But yeah. anyway, I think honestly, Big Ben economic I, policy slot is so important. Yeah. at any point of the game, right? Yeah, it, it's, extra policy slots always help, um, no matter what kind of victory you go to, with. But science, um, science, think, culture, primary, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, because like economic is sort of like, in my opinion, economic is the best uh, policy card distribution. Uh, like it just has all the like, because if you think of a science game, it's where you're getting your science per turn in the middle of the game. It's where you're getting your extra builder charges. It's where you're getting your like all the modifiers are in that economic yeah. policy card. Like neither exactly. the other two uh, up until the 5% for severity cards and diplomatic cards. Like the economic cards are just so much stronger, and those five percent cards are like so such a small window of the game. Um, and then once you sort of filled in everything, it's economic is going to be your closing out cards as well. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, and and me, I mean, Big Ben is competing against other wonders in the industrial era. Yeah, which we will go through, but this. Definitely one of the better ones. Yeah, and a tier. Yeah, I, I, I would. I, I'm struggling with placement. The only reason, like, I, don't get me wrong. In an average game, I say Big Ben is like probably right below Forbidden City. Um, in like uh in value, I I would say if you're playing a longer game, Big Ben is S tier. But if you're playing to win, um, and you're playing like a more uh, put together game, Big Ben just isn't can provide you enough to be an S tier. Um, it just it's just not. So it's a matter of between average player who's just sort of playing for fun and somebody who's trying to do something. I'd say it's like middle of the pack A tier. Yeah. Okay. Fair I mean, enough. I mean, I would I would put it right next to Batala, but yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. Big Ben loses. To what you're saying, it loses value as you go through the game, which yeah. is like, it's that type of criteria that is like, okay. Um, you're getting it when you, know, you don't it, need it. It's almost like, you know, it would be easier if we had a number of turns as part of our criteria, right? Yeah, like yeah. 250 turns. If we were using that as a benchmark for, let's say, like, like I don't know, science victory. Yeah. Um, then it will be probably easier to place. Oh yeah, yeah. But I think where you have it placed right yeah. now. Yeah. And I would, I would say if they were both available at the same time, Portala Palace is so much weaker than Big Ben. But it's just the difference between you can get it earlier. It's less production. It affects more turns, and it's giving you a diplomatic policy card when those are harder to have. Uh, there's no government that has two diplomatic policy cards when you unlock Portala Palace. Yeah, you know, if Big Ben came with like scientist points or something like that, it would make it even better. 
because yeah. merchant points at this point of the game sort of irrelevant uh, yeah because you already have the lead in them usually well great uh, merchants are great for building your empire they don't close out the game um, and that's sort of what mm -hmm. you're hinting at there is science wins the game. Uh, if you're playing a science game, uh, great writers, great artists win the game. If you're playing a culture game, great merchants help you build your empire. So getting a boost to great merchant points at the end of the game is sort of not what you need. Exactly. But that extra gold helps. Anyway. Yeah. Next one. Next one is Bolshoi theater. Yeah. So, um, so it produces two great writer points, two great musician points, and gives you slots for uh, writing and music. And then it also awards two random free civics when completed. So, so it's the Oxford culture, University of Culture. Oxford University of Culture. That, that's a good one. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's a good, solid wonder in yeah. a culture game. I don't see anything wrong with it, to be honest. Um, uh, I don't. I mean, is it a B tier? I say it's B tier just because, like, I'd say it's high B tier um, because culture is different than science. Um, there's not as many options in the culture tier. So yeah, two free cultures are are good, but it's just not. It's not like Oxford University where you can really like get something good out of it. A great uh, a great uh, music slot is nice because uh, those are hard to come by. Like those are mm -hmm. extremely limited. But am I building a wonder for that? Uh, I I just I I don't think that's worth a wonder. I I, I think if you're playing a culture game, it, like it's worth building i don't think it provides anything outside of a culture game i'm not going to build this in a science game for the two extra free civics they don't matter that much you know like right science game yeah and culture game by that point i mean you already switch into like production of bands probably yeah like exactly bands and and, and you can't unless you're you don't, uh, you don't need as much culture as tourism and yeah, you get in two slots. I guess music can help, but and I forget was it music a... and writing or what was the other one? Yeah, um, music and writing. See, if it was uh, if it was music and art, um, I would be or if it was a, a like a wild card slot. But writing slots are so easy to have enough of when compared to all other slots. Um, yeah. I, I mean, it'll I be know... better with like two music slots, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean... Um, because, because, like I said, uh, you can get great musicians early, and you have nowhere to put them. And even when you do get broadcast centers, it's only one slot, and great musicians have two great works. Like if it was two music slots, I would put this in A tier. But as is, you're just not getting enough for it to be needed. It's it's nice, don't get me wrong, but not needed. Yeah, I I don't know how much civics cost at that point of game, right? Yeah. That you get two free ones. Um and it depends how much culture you produce. If your culture sucks, then you're not doing the culture game right. Yeah. Um, and, and, and the if other... you're playing the science game, um I don't know if it's worth it. So And the yeah, other thing with culture, so many civics are optional. Like if you're if you're going down that culture tree, you have so many like optional paths. Like literally, the center of the culture tree is the only thing you need to go down. You don't need to get uh, theocracy if you don't have any uh, faith production. You don't need to do the entire top half to get to the end of the tree. So two free civics. If you are like min maxing your culture tree, you could be getting like. Uh, mercantilism or you know something like that like a really low civic it's not like science where legitimately you do have to research almost every single tech so mm -hmm. anything you mm -hmm. get's going to help you just because of the design of the civics tree there's a lot more opportunity to just get something that doesn't matter right. to you yeah and 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 they're random right yeah they're civics so you can't even yeah benefit from it if if you it's random, but I always get like the two lowest ones. Exactly. I mean, there's been times that isn't the case, but like in almost every game when I complete it, I could predict it because it's like, oh, these are the two lowest value ones I have. All right. Well, speaking of lowest value, the next one is Hermitage. Uh, uh, yeah. Hermitage pre uh, provides 
three great artist points yep. and four great works. Yep. So the only reason I build Hermitage is when I'm like out of great works slots and yeah. I'm just, I'm, you know, and I'm able to buy and, and in great works. I mean, four slots is pretty decent in my opinion. What do you think? Yeah. I, 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 are they universal or are they great art? I forget. Oh, it's great works of art specifically. Well, great it's works. usually art, right? Like, yeah. I mean, landscape or portrait. Well, I, I'm, if it was universal, I'd rank it higher. I'd say this is about the low end of B tier. It, it gives you more places to hold art, but like, you're, the longer so you're, you're, you would put Bolshoi above Hermitage. Because you can put great music in it. Okay. Yeah. Fair I enough. mean, you can't theme Hermitage. Uh, so the four slots are just filler. Um, and I, I'm thinking, mm -hmm. like, once again, this is, it depends on. See, like, that's actually a good point because a lot of times, well, I theme yeah. my museum. You probably don't. I don't know. But you can actually take out the slot, the, the piece of work that does not match with anything and you're unable to do it and throw it in the Hermitage like you would do with Palace, I guess. Palace, you can't theme either. Exactly. Well, my Palace and Apadan are usually great music slots. Uh, and I guess that's probably why I'm ranking Bolshoi higher is because I wind up with great music so much earlier that that's, mm -hmm. it's sort of like the same argument I make for Stonehenge. If you can get that Apostle out earlier, the game is, is going to be better. If you can slot a great great music even like 10 turns earlier your game's going better um you know if you can have one more great uh music out you know it's uh Her hermitage i guess i've ran out of great artist slots but if you're playing a culture game you should have a lot of theaters um if you're doing a 300 plus turn yeah you're gonna run out of theater space because the amount of tourists you need is higher but this is are you know if you're playing a faster game, I don't think you're running out your art slots as often. Yeah, no, I agree, I agree. Yeah, I mean, I, I, and that's the only reason, just running out of slots of uh, in a longer game. Yeah. So. Now, if you're playing uh, Christina of Sweet, it's Sweden, right? Uh, she, she themes this, so it's it's better. Like it's uh -huh. like for her, it's like S tier because that whole thing's themed. You can just you get. I mean, you build it in your uh, capital with Pingala, and that's like a that is like a heavy hitter right there. Um, you know, very good point. Yeah. What so, is her ability? Um, uh, auto themes. Theme anything? Yep. <laughs> so you can uh, if you put two great works of writing in an Apadana, they get themed. Uh, so it's like. Oh wow. Yeah. So this wonder uh, for that civil civilization is like s tier it's like phenomenal um but that's so specific awesome well i mean it's very specific and thank you for pointing it out i had no idea yeah all right next up next up is orsha gas <laughs> i don't know how <laughs> close <say> enough <laughs> <laughs> um the hungarian parliament building yeah yeah that's yeah um pretty cool looking um, yeah so plus for culture and then plus 100% diplomatic favor per turn from starting a turn as a suzerain. Um, I'm putting that in error score right now. Uh, it comes too late for culture to matter. And here's my hot take. Gold is more important in a diplomacy game than diplomatic points. You can buy diplomatic points from the AI and do better than just earning a whole bunch. Plain and simple, like diplomatic but points. But du double in favor per turn is not a bad idea if you're playing a, if you're playing a diplomatic game, right? Like, yeah. what other wonders would you be building in an industrial era? Right? Statue like, of Liberty, right? Of course, <laughs> but the second one, maybe if you have an opportunity, why not build it, right? Yeah, but like, I, I don't know. I mean, I feel like you know we we use diplo favor to to sell it as well. Well, yeah. <laughs> if, um, but maybe it's coming too late for that. At this point, you'll be buying it, right? Like you said. Oh, we got a, we got a believer EC uh, in chat. Uh, we got a new chat guy. He said he's uh, finally managed to catch us. Yeah, I'm glad that you're in there, man. Yeah, welcome, dude. Welcome yeah. to this ridiculous discussion. I I, I need to okay. Before anything, I need to know your stance on Petra right now. Uh, do you believe it's era score only, or do you think it's better than just era score or only? 
Just think carefully before you answer. Yeah. Well, while we wait for his response, let's keep going. I mean, I, I how this the Hungarian Parliament building you said it is. Um, yeah. I, 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 I mean, if you're playing a diplomacy game, yeah, go ahead and build it. It's not going to hurt. But I don't well, think it's I, it's not crucial, yeah. right? Like it doesn't provide you diplomatic points. It, it so does. If, yeah. If it did, it would be probably eight here. Right? Yeah. I mean, just for that game type, yeah. Right, I mean, right, right, right. I, I would rank it B tier just because uh, uh, I forget Hanging Sophia. We ranked B tier because it was a faith only one. Uh, but if it, I would say this wonder he, is he, better. Yeah, here's the thing: like longer game, I guess. Longer game. I'm thinking. Yeah, you know, that's why I'm like, yeah, it could be higher a score, but in longer game, I would probably build it. But I would build Casa de Construcción probably too. Yeah, so in a longer game. So it would pro probably be error score right next to it um, because Diplo favor is always good to sell and, you know, yeah. get more gold for it. Hey, hey, hey comrade, I, I need you to check out chat. Oh, mother. <laughs> That's right. It's an all, it's an all anti-Petra conversation now. I know. You guys are so anti-communist. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, th right, I think we enough. need everyone to, like, before they enter in chat, they need to clarify if they're for or against Petra. I know. You know what? If we were streaming on my channel, it could be different. <laughs> well, we'll stream on your channel, and I bet you I'll be able to convince people that Petra is bad on your channel <laughs> sure, as sure. well. I mean, when, when I go never ending Petra conversation. Yeah, I mean, whenever I get into uh, discussions in the the comments of your channel, people tend to agree with me. I'm just saying. Of course, everyone agrees with me. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, I mean, right. yeah, if let's, you're playing a diploma diplomatic game, build it. Otherwise, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Exactly. All right. So one of the stronger wonders is next. That's the Oxford yes. University. I would. <sighs> I mean, I'm just going to rank. I think we need to like sort of give our How rank. How often are you able to build it? In like a, so I guess by this time, your game is pretty strong. So you're yeah. like ahead of the AI. Yeah, I'm ahead of I mean, the AI. But I actually do build. lose it sometimes. Like, oh, yeah. so I don't. It's competitive. Yeah. It's very competitive. Oh, what um, does it do? I, I'm sorry. I so cut you off. The first thing was plus three great scientist points. Yep. Plus two great works of writing. Uh slots obviously yep. and 20 percent science in the city plus two randomly chosen texts yeah the two randomly chosen texts are what you're building it for in a faster game 20 percent science um is good the longer the game goes and the stronger mm -hmm. the city is mm -hmm. uh if mm -hmm. you built your city specifically for this like if you have a research say uh research and all that and maybe you know some extra things it can be really good um i have never factored in the 20 percent science uh in this because like you were saying it's ultra competitive if you're hard building this you're not going to build it you have to chop this out so you're getting two free techs um, and like I said, I lose this in games. Like when I'm pushing like a, a 180 science victory, I've actually lost this. So I don't know how people in regular games complete this. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, like, yeah. like, like, I'm not saying that to be full of myself. Like anyone could play my style and play, you know, get faster victories. I, I'm just saying like, I'm further ahead and I, I've seen it lost and I'm like, wow. All right. That seems ridiculously early. Yeah, I mean, from my perspective, from my vantage vantage, vantage point, um, I I rarely able to build it yeah. um, unless I plan for it to chop it out and like rush to it somehow. Yeah, so, it's sort uh, of like Machu Picchu, and it just like all of a sudden it will just be built. Like and mm -hmm. it, and turn doesn't seem to matter. Nothing really seems to matter. It's just like oh yeah, uh, Oxford University was just built. Um, yeah, and, and you know what you do in the science game, in the longer game, you just conquer it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's an easier uh, path. But you don't get the two free techs then. Um, and, and this, like... Oh, that's right, yeah. you don't. Uh, this one I struggle ranking because I, like, I value this, don't get me wrong, um, but I want to hold off building it as long as possible to try and get, like, you know, very end game techs for the two free techs. Um, but I think this is... this 
I I say rate with Big Ben are like the only two impactful wonders that you're getting at this point. Um, this one. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Like, if if you build Oxford, right, and yep. you have like I don't know, wheel undiscovered still. Yep. Potentially, would it provide you a wheel technology? Yes. A free... Yeah, that's. I I built it and I forgot what technology it was, but it was like the it was like right after uh, the Forbidden City tech. I can't remember what it was, and that's what unlocked. And I was, mm-hmm. and I, it was literally like castles. <laughs> yeah, it was literally like one turn, um, because I took a, a different path down the tech tree than I normally do, and I, I was like, well, that was a complete waste because it was like two one tech things that I could have pillaged and completed. So uh-huh. you can get like, and that's why I say like, it's not set that way, but you can get the absolute lowest, uh, lowest value I mean, out of it. So it's pretty universal, right? Across yeah. victories, uh, I would put it in low A. Yeah, I would say. I don't think it belongs in B. No, I, I would say. I would say honestly, like Hanging Gardens and Mahabudi Temple are doing more in your game than Oxford University. Like, if I'm being completely honest, just because you get them earlier, they provide more earlier. Oxford University mm-hmm. is flashy, but um, if you have time to plan for it. You're like, like I have time to plan for it in some of my games. I don't think the average player has the ability to like get their tech tree filled in to get like high value techs out of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you kind of forget about that. You know, you focus on actually building it. Yeah, and you forget that you have unlock uh, a bunch of techs that are useless. But it, to be unlocked. but it also never returns nothing. Like it's never a waste. It always saves Correct. the turns. It always ex- absolutely like even one turn is is a turn. So yeah, but the rest of its yeah. abilities, eh? Who cares? You don't need the great writing slots. You don't like three great scientist points is laughably low. Um, like, yeah, it's, at, that, at that point, right? When, like it's, it's why even bother when it's like. <laughs> 40,000 faith to buy a great scientist. Uh, you know, three great scientist points aren't aren't doing anything. Yeah, it's it's just a meme type of feature of it. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So the next one is probably the best wonder of the era. That's Panama Canal. I put it right into era score. It is like everyone's favorite. Like it is if you build a good Panama Canal city and put it on Reddit, you'll get so many likes. It is the screenshot favorite. Um, that should be in the description. Have people like your screenshot. Like, I mean, I, I, you know, I thought that it provides because it says upon completion uh, there are canal districts that are never constructed. The canal, wonder tile can now be crossed by naval units, obviously, and then 10 gold. But I thought it was providing like some kind of a trade route bonus, but maybe not. Um, I, I, I think canals in general provide a trade route bonus. Okay, so yeah. that's why. So a bunch of canals together. But yeah, this is, uh, no, I absolutely agree. But it's this a very a, weak a, wonder. Me, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not worth it, but the but AI loves it, yep. and the placement of it is just amazing. Yeah, and, like don't get me wrong, like I've actually seen I've seen a few well placed Panama canals that actually work like they're supposed to, like the the maps where the continent goes from ice to ice, north sure. to south, yeah. and then yeah. Panama Canal makes it so they can get their navy to the other side. Like this does have its places. But the number of times that happens, if you play a hundred games, you're lucky if that happens once. If that if that city exists once, yeah, you know, yeah. like it's, it's it's more for like a builder game than anything else. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, I, it. I would love to build a nice Panama Canal city just for the visual, but you're also devoid, devoting four tiles to it, like. I know, and, and you, <laughs> it, it still costs you nine hundred. Yeah, um, you know, beacons. Uh, the I don't know. It just to, to to produce. I, I don't it's have like, that level of planning. I don't have. I don't have the control to leave four valuable tiles empty for an entire game to build a wonder at this stage of the game. 
Yeah. And plus no. stage a game. Like you're getting this after turn 130. Um, like, do you really need this? Like, does is this providing anything you need? <laughs> right, right, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I mean, instead of Panama Canal, just run some district uh, yeah. uh, projects, right? Settle a city um, on either side of the continent. There, there's your Panama Canal. My trade route now can cross the continent. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Uh, next one is Ruhr Valley. Oh, that's Statue of Liberty. Sorry. Right. There we go. Uh, <laughs> um, what, what does it provide? Let's let's start there. Well, I mean, tell me where you're going to put it. Aris well, what does it provide? What does it provide? Just go. Just go. <laughs> All right. So plus one production for each mine and quarry in this city. Yep. And plus twenty percent production in this city so right what what is the usual like expectation or strategy is to build rural valley in the high production high production city, city. usually space city right like yep space spaceport space. city this is purely a science wonder uh it has no place in any other game not domination not diplomacy not culture it is purely a science victory wonder um i i I build it my science games. Um, it's not as good as people give it credit for because it's one city. It's plus 20% production, um, which is one fifth year production. If you're doing, uh, if you're doing uh, 200 production, you get 40 production from it. Um, that, how much production does the wonder cost? Are you there, comrade? Oh, so we lost comrade. All right, perfect. That's great. Um, so the problem is it, it's 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 a good production wonder. Um, twenty percent in one city is all right, but you're not really getting your value out of it in a shorter game. If you're playing a much longer game, if you're playing a a, a, a two fifty to three fifty uh, win, uh, you might get more out of it. If you're building like a huge industrial city like a Germany, and you built like your plus twenty Hansa with all the cards and everything. Um, Oh, Thomas, he said it cost 1240 Yeah, so that if you have a 200 production city and you're getting 40 extra per turn, that's a lot of turns for that to pay for itself. I mean, I know you, like the standard thing is to either chop it out or get a great engineer, but if you're chopping it out, you would have been better off using those chops to run, uh, you know, uh, campus production projects to get uh, a better great scientist, to get more science, to get down the tree faster. You would have been better off running any number of projects are, are, are building other things with that production than to get what is, I mean, I guess if you have like an age of steam Victoria, uh, and you have like just an insane city, it's better. But I, I, I honestly, I know everyone loves this, but I honestly can't rank this any higher than like bottom of B tier. Um, it, it just, it's coming too late. Um, if you could get it earlier and the production cost was lower, um, and it also requires an industrial zone, which uh, I'm not a huge fan of industrial zones in general. Once again, I build them in my science games, but that's more to get the Eureka for communism um, and to get the other Eureka uh, on the top end of the science tree. I can't think of what that what that tech is right now, uh, right off the top of my head. But I'll build industrial zones for that. Um, but generally, I'm not looking at adjacency on my industrial zones. Uh, it's easier to just have trade routes. Trade routes help your cities grow for like the length of game, and then you just pile them all into your spaceport city. Um, so that's sort of better than you know planning out a whole bunch of stuff because it's easier and, and just more effective. Ruhr Valley does affect the production on uh, trade routes and stuff like that. It's universal production, 
uh, that's improved by River Valley. But overall, I mean, I just don't think it provides enough. Uh, the plus one for mines. I mean, how many how many mines are you going to have in a city? Uh, unless, once again, if you've designed the city to keep all of its tiles. But with all your districts, all your wonders, everything, at the end of the game, how many tiles do you really have that you're working? Um, and that's sort of where Ruhr Valley falls flat for me. If it was an... If it was AOE, like industrial zones, where it was like affecting surrounding cities as well, I would be much more inclined to say it was a, a, a better wonder. Hey, comrade, are you back? I am back. Can you hear me? Yes. So I'm actually just putting uh, Rear Valley in the bottom of B here. Um, bottom oh, of bottom B. B. Bottom yeah. B is not bad. All right. All yeah. right. I thought you would throw it in there. I... <laughs> Because well, here's the thing, I, I it's fine, it's fine. for yeah. me it is era score. For me it is era score, but I see the value oh, for dude. for other players. Um, the longer your game goes, the better it is. Uh, for me, I just don't I don't see it. Well, see, like Thomas is saying, this is actually I think I've done it once. I, I did. Oh build my god! Oh my to god. build <laughs> Petra. To hard build Petra. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, like people love it because because I hear it so often that production is the most important yield in the game, and it isn't. I'm sorry, it's not even in the top three. I, I'm so, like I I very rarely focus on per turn production, and I I I, I do all right. It's not important. Science and culture are infinitely more important. Gold and faith are more more utility have more utility. Um, production is important for districts. Like, so I, I get why people value it so much, um, but I, I just don't see it. I mean, twenty percent is nice for a space city. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, uh, along with all the trade routes that you have going, for example, you know, you can get yeah. it up to. I mean, the good city, you can get it up to 500 production pretty easily, yeah. I guess. Um, but I agree with you. It's a, it's a B tier because, you know what, if I lose out on it, it it's not going to have a giant impact on my game, really. Yeah, I'm actually going to put it right next to Stonehenge. Um, I, <laughs> I, I want to rank Stonehenge higher than Ruhr Valley. Like, if I'm being honest, I, I would say St. Basil... And Stonehenge, uh, in their respective uses, provide more than Ruhr Valley. St. Basil is yeah. going to be your top culture, or your top tourism in a culture game. Um, it's just by the time Ruhr Valley comes, I mean, usually your game on Deity is steaming ahead. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's such a secondary wonder that if you get it, great. If you don't get it, fine by the me. The ability you know? is poorly placed. Like it, that that is the end mm, end all. Yeah, be all. it should be earlier. If it was earlier, when production actually probably more beneficial. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it would be better. The problem is they assigned they assigned these abilities to wonders that make sense, not to eras that make sense. Um, mm, and that's yeah. like Rear Valley. The 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 ability makes sense for what it is, but if you look at placement and game, it doesn't make sense at all. Well, the, you have to consider the fact that the whole game is, you know, 500 turns. Yeah. <laughs> on standard speed, right? That's what's expected. So I guess, I guess yeah. that, that's how they distributed the wonders. But yeah. If, if, if you look at it that way, then its placement probably makes sense. But yeah. not for, you know, not at this point, you know, you're playing on DD and you can finish the game so much earlier. Yeah. So. All right. Uh, next one is pretty straightforward. The Statue of Liberty. Era score, unless you're playing diplomacy. Like it's. I actually but don't. You have, you have to put it on in B because it it's a direct impact. On All the right, lowest so, B tier. You know? You're right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I feel like it's it earned its place as a beacon of democratic. I, I will Mine. say, I will say this. Actually, no, I, it, it does belong in B tier because there's actually two instances where you want to build Statue of Liberty 100% of the time. In a diplomacy game, it's for diplomatic points, which is huge. Uh, this is this is the wonder if you're playing a diplomacy game. Like This is the wonder that you should be planning for from turn one. Um, 
If you're playing a non-violent domination game, you should also be planning this wonder from turn one. Um, because I played before I was recording an Eleanor huge non-violent domination game, and Genghis Khan built this right when I was like about to take his like the last few cities in his empire, and then I could no longer win. Like, cause I like cause the uh, instant a one hundred percent loyalty. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, like, this is like if you're playing an Eleanor game, you, you need, need to, you need to be you looking for Statue AI. of Liberty. What's up? Yeah, that's another thing. Like, you, you have to steal it from AI, right? At yeah. least. Um, and and that's that's a point with other wonders too, though. Like, how much value do they provide to the AI that can screw up your game? Yeah. You know? Exactly. Um, sometimes you build wonders just because of that. Yeah. So if you're playing an Eleanor game, Statue of Liberty should be on your list of things that you need to get, because um, mm -hmm. it will, because they usually build it in or near the capital. 